Tonight you're in for a big surprise. The woods in question are at Fiscali near Pitlochry, and for the rest of this month they've been turned into an enchanted forest, attracting 20,000 visitors. From the tallest of hedges to the oldest of yews, Persia's big tree country is steeped in legend. And for a few weeks in the year, this forest becomes truly magical. Tonight is the opening night at the Enchanted Forest here at Fasken Wood. Months of work have gone into preparing the scene for a spectacular show of lights, music and fireworks. The aim of the event is to try and encourage people to spend time in the outdoors and appreciate the woodland. But rather than general kind of walking and cycling, we're trying to do it in a more innovative way. Over the years, it's kind of developed from initially just a kind of general lighting show in the woods to almost outdoor theatre. Give me an idea of just how much work is involved in preparing for an event like this. It's a lot of work. I mean, we, we start planning each year's event when the current year's event is currently running. Uh, we have a number of teams from lighting, marketing, departures, coaches, etc. It's months and months of work. So, how much of a relief is it to get to the opening night? The opening night um, is nerve-wracking to get there, but it's, it's fantastic to actually be here today. John, I hate to interrupt. I know you're making last-minute tweaks in the twitches. How are you getting on? Is everything in place? No problem. We're just uh, waiting to check the pilot light. John Kettles is a man tasked with bringing the forest to life on the night. But this is taking us two and a half months to get to, to, to this uh, level. I mean, we built all these things ourselves from scratch. What's the hardest thing about it? You know, yeah, absolutely, you because we've got water screens and projections of the water, uh, we have to watch for the wind, uh, for the wiring that runs through the, the lock, all these sort of things. Yes, so any time something can go wrong, and we've got to fix it. I know you're itching to get away, but what are your sort of hopes and fears for tonight? Um, okay, the hopes are that everybody enjoys themselves on a great night. In some pl places, scared out their wits. In other places, they are gen genuinely enchanted by what we see here, and they think it's beautiful. Okay, uh, the fears are that, that the show is, that doesn't reach the level of expectancy I want them to reach. You know, because we have problems, but we hopefully know it's going to be a good night, and uh, everybody gets something out of it. That's amazing. Yeah. Forest, and look who I've bumped into. Duke McLean, what are you doing here? My son and I, we were actually, you know, uh, brought on by, by Blast, the, the, the company who have, whose creative kind of uh, ideas are all, all around the lock here uh, to, to write some music. And, and like any any situation when you get two, you know, both Persia companies, when you get them together, you know, it all kind of grows legs. And so, so my son Jamie's been up here helping out with the the, 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 the thinking of the audio and he wrote all the music and in fact the, the sound of the dragon is actually my son's dog <laughs> breathing slowed down in, in the studio so all that kind of lovely kind of creative stuff that's been going on this last week to make what I think is a really magical thing <laughs> We get the odd radio call that something's broken down, the dragon's run out of steam and uh, the gas is freezing up. <laughs> but we just have to deal with these and uh, as the show goes on, uh, we'll learn to improve and become more efficient with them. But first night, it's gone okay? Yes, we haven't had any major disasters and uh, it's going great. Onwards yeah. and upwards? Absolutely, yeah. How much have you liked tonight? 100%. I like the dragon. It's been a fantastic night. We were a little bit, you know, nervous about putting on a new format this year. But I've been around a few times, speaking to our visitors, and they all think it's fantastic. There's no doubt that the first night has been a huge success. Let's hope the rest of the run goes with a bang. If you would.